If you need to update the email address in the config.txt file on a running Simple Mining OS rig so that it shows up in your dashboard when you log on to simplemining.net and you don't really know where to start, you've landed on the right channel. We're going to go step by step and we're starting right now. What's up, savages? This is a frequently asked question in the Simple Mining OS community. Maybe you just burned a new Simple Mining OS image to a USB or SSD. Maybe you did it on a Mac and you don't have access to actually edit the config.txt file. Or maybe you uh, purchased a rig from someone that already had Simple Mining o OS on it and you just want to boot it up and change your email address. Or maybe you just forgot to edit the config.txt file. Or maybe you couldn't edit the config.txt file for some other reason. Whatever the case may be, never fear because we can get this squared away pretty quickly and get you back up and running. Oh, and at the end of this video, I have a little bonus, so be sure to stick around for that as well. If you have a monitor and keyboard connected to your rig, you can use the following method. If you don't, things get a little more complicated, but still possible. So if you have a monitor connected to your rig and you're sitting there looking at this screen, it says please enter your, uh, please set your email address in the config file, here's what you can do. Just press Control C. It'll get the standard warning message up there about the screen. Hit Control C again and get to the minor at simple minor prompt. Type in nano space forward slash MNT forward slash user forward slash config.txt and then press enter. Now you should be looking at your config.txt file. Use the keyboard, the arrow keys, to navigate down to where it says admin at simplemining.net and replace that with your email address that you use to log on to simplemining.net. Then you're going to press Control X to exit. You're going to choose yes or Y, and then you're gonna press enter to overwrite the file. And then you'll be at, back at the prompt. Here you'll just type sudo reboot and then press enter. Now your rig will reboot and it should show up in your dashboard, your simplemining.net dashboard. If you don't have a keyboard and monitor connected to your rig, you're going to have to take a few more steps to figure out what your rig's IP address is. One way would be to look at your router's connected devices or DHCP client list and see what's connected that way and see if you can figure out exactly what your rig's IP address is that way. It could also be called DHCP reservation list. DHCP is dynamic host configuration protocol and that's just where your router is issuing an IP address automatically to connected devices that are on your network, your local area network. If you don't know what your IP address scheme is for your local area network, you can go to a Windows machine and click the start button or the Windows button and type in CMD for command, CMD and then press enter and then type in IP config and then press enter again and from that you should be able to determine what your IP address scheme is for your local area network. And that'll also show you some important information such as your default gate gateway, which is your router. That should be your router's IP address. Once you have determined what your rig's IP address is, it's time for step two. In this step, you have to connect to your rig using SSH or Secure Sockets Shell. And this is just a client that can, you can use to connect to your uh, rig's file system so that we can get at that config.txt file to modify it and add your email address in there so this rig starts showing up in your dashboard. The typical SSH clients are PuTTY, FileZilla, and MOBA Xterm. SSH communication uses port 22 by default and you'll need to remember that when connecting. I'll leave links to all these utilities down in the video description. So let's go ahead and see how we use PuTTY First. PuTTY is quite simple and probably the easiest utility to use 
for this particular purpose, as long as you're familiar with the command line. So let's go ahead and start putty. Then you're gonna enter in your IP address of your rig that you're trying to attach to. Default port 22, click open. Now this is an SSH session. You're gonna log in as miner with your password for that account. Nothing's gonna happen on the screen whenever you type in your password. It'll just sit there a regular cursor. Then you're gonna type in nano space forward slash MNT forward slash user forward slash config.txt and press enter. It might come up with this message here. Just go ahead and choose yes. Then you're gonna use your keyboard arrow keys to get down to edit the email address, remove the admin at simplemining.net and replace it with yours. Then you're gonna press Control X. And then yes. And then enter to overwrite. And now you're just going to do sudo reboot and press enter. And it's going to disconnect from your rig, of course, because it's rebooting. If you're using FileZilla, go ahead and open it up. In FileZilla, you have to enter in your IP address again of the rig that you want to attach to. Username is minor. Password is your password. Can't help you with that, whatever it is. Port is 22 by default. Press enter and it's going to connect. Now this is more of a file system access here, uh, just direct. So you're gonna go up and navigate to the top level. And then you're gonna go into the MNT folder. And then you're gonna to go to the user folder and then right click on config.txt and choose view edit. And now just like the other ones, you're going to highlight or you're gonna remove admin at simplemining.net and replace it with your email address. Then you're gonna click uh, file, save. Then you're gonna close notepad. And it's gonna come up with this warning here letting you know that something has changed the local files change. I always choose finish editing and editing and delete local file and then yes. And I'll just go in here and check to make sure that it's saved because I'm not totally confident with uh, FileZilla at this point. I'll also go up here and choose file and view what's being edited and choose the edited file and choose configure and upload. If you're using MOBA Xterm, go ahead and open that up. So once MOBA Xterm is open, in the quick connect block, you can just type in your IP address of your rig and press enter. Log in as miner. Press enter. Enter in your password. The cursor is not gonna move. So you have to be sure that you type it in correctly. Press enter. I choose no to save the password, just for security. Now this is a regular SSH session, but it's got file structure on the left here. So you navigate to the top level, then you go into MNT, and then the user directory. And then you right click on config.txt and choose edit, or open with text editor. Then you remove the admin at simplemining.net, change it to your own, the same email address that you use for simplemining.net. Then you're going to save it. Choose yes. I choose yes to all. Then you can go in and double check to make sure that the changes took, took place, and they did. Close that. You can do a sudo reboot here. 
and then it's going to disconnect again and then you're going to exit out of MOBA XTERM and your rig should be rebooting now and it'll show up in your simplemining.net dashboard so there you have it no more struggling with getting config.txt edited on a running rig and I'd like to give a special thanks to IllusionX, Ubuntu, and CryptoScum over in the simplemining.net help forum for making sure that the content in this video was accurate. Great bunch of folks over there at simplemining.net. Since you savages stuck around to the end of the video, here's a cool SMOS bonus just for you. After connecting to your rig through SSH, if you want to see exactly what is on the screen just as if you had a monitor attached, type in screen space dash x space minor and press enter. And here you're going to be looking at exactly the same thing that you would be seeing if you had a monitor plugged into the rig. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything in the future. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.